everybody, Jason here of Ghostbusters News, and earlier this year we reported on an upcoming project that looks to finally add the character of Winston Zeddemore to the Ghostbusters video game for the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. Yeah, if you didn't know, this video game, it included the characters of Peter Venkman, Ray Stantz, and Egon Spengler, but for some reason, it sidelined Winston. And his omission, it was a bit of a head-scratcher, especially given this was 1990. Aside from Ernie Hudson playing the role in the first two films, at this time, Winston was heavily featured as part of the real Ghostbusters animated series and Kenner's popular toy line. Skip ahead to now, 32 years later, and a group of artists, designers, and programmers, they are finally writing that wrong. Aiming to make available a definitive edition of Ghostbusters for the Mega Drive and Genesis, that includes not only Winston, but a few additional features, with programmer Master Lin Kuei posting our first in-game look at the project. As we've got on your screen, Winston does look to match up well with the visual style of his Ghostbusting counterparts. And not only that, but get this, he does include unique attributes. Being stronger and jumping higher, which as it turns out, actually makes him an OP character. Which, given his 32 year exclusion, only seems right. Not ending it there, as revealed in that tweet, the upcoming mod will also include custom uniforms. And these will be comprised of the Sega Genesis, Mega Drive original, a khaki, and also the dark flight suits seen in Ghostbusters 2. Another one of the talents behind this long overdue update, Billy Time Games. He shared how the costume selection is going to work, writing, We actually have a new feature to allow for extra costumes. Pressing any of the buttons will give you a different color. Now, given that the in-game cutscenes were designed with only three characters in mind, Billy Time Games also revealed a few headaches have crept up, adding that the game doesn't play nice with some of the new code. As a workaround, Winston will be overlaid on top of Egon Spengler when selected. Be sure to keep it locked to GhostbustersNews.com and right here to the Ghostbusters News YouTube channel for future updates on this mod, including the release date and, of course, eventual gameplay footage. That's all I've got for you here right now. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in the description. And I'll see you right back here next time.